Hi, I'm Drew Banghart. I'm an assistant professor in the English department, uh, and I am starting on my fourth year here at West Liberty University. My research focuses mainly on the distance between the sciences and the humanities. Oftentimes this is called the, the two cultures because of the separation between the two of them, the different ways that they do things and the different ways they look at the world. Um, and I look at historically how that split happened. Most of my research is in the 18th and 19th centuries when disciplines are really starting to form, when you really get things like English departments, you get you know, psychology departments and geology and astronomy, and these things really become kind of their own distinct areas of inquiry. Um, and I really focus on how these things differentiate themselves from each other and also from the general public. I mean, the 19th century is, is a period not just of sort of disciplinarity of splits between different kinds of scholars and academics, but also a kind of split between the average person, the lay person, and scholars and researchers who are sort of pushing uh, new sort of cutting edge theories. I would say probably our, our British Lit survey. I'm really interested uh, in the 19th century and the, the big, um, the sort of big genre that, that, that comes about during that time is, is called realist fiction. Ooh, George Eliot, easily. I could have answered that question very easily when I was like eight years old. It would have been shark hands down. Now, ooh, ooh, I wanna say like, I wanna say like a mollusk. Those are the smart ones, right? I don't like flying, generally just being in planes makes me super nervous, so I'm gonna say invisibility. Yeah, I mean, the thing is you're talking to an English professor, so I read more than I watch. I'm immune to poison ivy and bee stings. Uh, you know, maybe another one bites the dust. You know, you, you need you need some sort of like Queen song. You know, something something that everybody knows. Uh, books. I mean, yeah. I mean, again, English professor here. So yeah. I mean, I I, I do collect a lot of uh, rare editions and, and, and first editions of books. I would say uh, incomplete sentences. Oh, low class sizes. Um, the the fact that you can work with students one on one.